When Megan is out studying whales, she sometimes runs into the real dangers they face, like loose floating debris. Major threat to the animals. More than half of these humpback whales bear scars from being tangled up in ropes and fishing nets. This humpback whale population is growing. But we think worldwide, the humpback population may be only 40% of what it was before whaling began. Some of the most serious problems facing whales have no immediate solution. But when individual whales get entangled, some of them can be saved by rescue teams, like the one here in Hawaii. Most rescues start with a phone call from a boater. Reporting entangled whales is one important way to help humpbacks. Looking for your position. The team caught up to the entangled whale in just under an hour. This young, energetic humpback whale was trailing more than 200 feet of line and buoys behind it. Each entanglement is different, so team leader Ed Lyman has to keep adjusting his strategy. If this young whale is not set free by Ed's team, he could die from infection, starvation, or even drowning. A key tool is their grapple. That's how they hook onto the trailing gear, and then pull themselves close enough to cut the whale free. We attach a transmitter to help track the whale, in case we lose it, and buoys to keep it from diving deep. Even with extensive training, it's dangerous for Ed and Joe to get so close to a huge animal under stress. We work entirely from boats. People have been killed jumping in the water to cut whales free. If we hear signs of stress, like a trumpeting blow, we back off. Our pole cam gives us an underwater view. It helps us see what's going on. We need to get this gear off. These wounds are, are bad. These young ones, they're unpredictable. Our whale makes a sudden U-turn and snags his gear on a nearby boat. So we race back to cut the boat free. You got it? Okay, good. Make the cut. As soon as we cut that line, he takes right off. Even dragging all those buoys, the whale is just pulling us too fast. We actually got what the old-time whalers call a Nantucket sleigh ride. Can help you? Okay, we clear out. Still running hard. Yep. We attach a sea anchor to slow it down. Finally, the whale slows down enough to give Ed a clean angle, so he moves in for the cut. And here It all Thank went you. their way today, but it doesn't always work out. Even Ed's heroic team can't save every whale. But you and I can help reduce the number of entangled humpbacks. Encourage the use of whale-safe gear and keep debris out of the ocean. humpback whales. For centuries, men in boats brought them pain and death. It brings us such joy to flip that around 
and bring them life instead. It took hundreds of years for people all across the world to wake up and hear the song of the humpbacks. In the early days, humpbacks were known as our guardians. Now it's our turn 